welcome to the class in this class uh, we will talk about the question of uh, linear arrangement with the help of this example this example has been uh, asked in the IBPS common written examination of PO in 2012 so let's uh, read the question first each of the six friends a b c d e and f scored different marks in an examination c scored more than only a and e d scored less than only b e did not score the last the one who scored the third highest marks scored 81 marks e scored 862 marks so this information is given and three questions are based on this uh, information so first of all we have to represent whatever information that is given that is contained in these three lines into uh, into some uh, ways so that we can get the answer of these questions so since in the question the marks of uh, from lower to higher we have to arrange we have to arrange six uh, friends in the increasing or decreasing number of marks from lower to higher or higher to lower so suppose we we are actually trying to arrange the marks of uh, six friends from lower to higher to one two three four five six okay on this side we will write the we will write uh, the names on each of the six um, points okay so let's take the information one by one C scored more than only A and E so what we are trying to do here actually the arrow shows increasing number of marks increasing that is marks in increasing increasing order okay so c scored more than only a and e that means that means c is third from the bottom c scored more than a and e definitely here c okay and a and e are either of these two places so if you probe for probables we are writing on right hand sides so either a or e here or e or a here okay let's write it in the different uh, color like so it's like uh, a or e or here e or a we do not know we are not confirmed at this stage d scored less than only b so there is only one friend only one candidate below which the score of d lies that means b is on the top that surely says that b scored the highest and d scored less than only b so it means d is just below b so positions of b and d and c are fixed okay e did not score the least e did not score the least now we know that either e or e score the least e did not score the least that means e is here second from last and obviously if e is here then here you will get a so a is last e. now only one is left so obviously uh, which one is remaining a has got its place a b c d e and here we have got, got f okay so in this way we have uh, arranged them in the increasing order of marks this is the increasing order that is the highest b is the highest a is the lowest okay the one who scored the third highest marks scored 81 marks third highest the b is the highest d is the second highest f is the third highest he has got he has got 80 one marks okay e scored 62 marks e has scored 62 marks okay now the information all the information we have represented with the help of this diagram you can see in such 
kind of questions whatever information is given in the, the data we have to represent the information in this way we could have also uh, arranged this uh, shown it in this linear horizontal manner in this way we have shown it in a vertical manner it doesn't matter okay let's take questions one by one question number 19 which of the following could possible possibly be C's score C's score so obviously C's score lies between 81 and 62 so 70 is it possible yes that is possible 94 not possible 86 not possible beyond 81 61 not possible because it is below 62 81 is not possible because 81 is not possible because here it is written that each of the six friend is scored different marks different marks so all have scored no all have scored different marks no two have common marks so all these four possibilities not pos not there only 70 that is option one is correct 70 okay so option one is correct here the option one is correct okay the next question that is question number question number 20 okay which of the following is true with respect to the given information the first these score was definitely less than 60 D's score was definitely less than 60. Not possible because D's score is greater than 81. So that is basically eliminated. Okay. Second, F scored the maximum marks. No. F has not scored the maximum marks, but B has scored the maximum. That is also not true. Third, only two people scored more than C. More than C, no, not two, but three people have scored more than C. So that is also not possible, incorrect. There is a possibility that B scored 79 marks. Since F has scored 81 marks and B has definitely scored more than F, so it is not possible. There is no such possibility. Five, none is true. So this is correct for question number 20. Fifth is correct. Okay for 20 the correct option is fifth none of the above fifth none of the above so question number last question that is 21st okay let's read this question the first the person who scored the maximum scored 30 marks more than f 30 marks more than f which of the following can be d's score so it means the person who is scoring the maximum marks that is b is having 81 plus 13 marks more so 81 plus 13 that is 4 8 plus 1 that is 94 so b is uh, having 94 marks 94 marks okay so which of the following can be b's score so b is having 94 marks f is having 81 marks f having 81 b is having 94 so definitely d will lie d will lie between 81 and 94 d will lie so what can be 94 is it possible no 60 no because it is below 81 89 yeah 89 is a possibility 89 is possible 78 possible no again 81 is not possible because no two can have the same marks so only there is one possibility that is 89 so option 3 is correct so in this way we have solved this simple question we will see more question in the next class